Okay, in this quick little video, we're going to build a simple pressure sensor using Velostat. Now, Velostat is used in anti-static bags, and it's pressure sensitive. When I apply pressure to the Velostat, the resistance across it will decrease. So I took a piece of Velostat, and I cut it in a rectangular shape. It's 10 centimeters long by 3 centimeters wide. Then I took some solder wick, and I scotch taped it to uh, both sides. Solder wick is used for taking off components on a PC board. Then I solder two wires to the ends of the two pieces of solder wick. And that's fed into my SCAMP 3 board. So I have the sensor. I have a 3.3 K ohm resistor which forms a voltage divider. So we have 3.3 volts from the SCAMP board through the voltage divider. And the output of the voltage divider is fed into the ADC of the SCAMP 3 board, pin 2. So as I press on the sensor, you can see the LEDs come on. The SCAMP 3 board. So the harder I pressed, the more LEDs I'll get. And I could press anywhere on the sensor. So that's a little pressure sensor you could make. Very simple. And here's the schematic. So we have the SCAMP 3 board, and the 3.3 volts output is fed into a voltage divider of a 3.3 K ohm resistor, and then the sensor. And the output of the voltage divider is fed into pin 2. And as we apply pressure to the sensor, the voltage will drop, and that's input into the ADC. And then we could apply it to how many bars, how many LEDs on this SCAMP3 board, which will come on. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAMP3 board for the pressure sensor using Velostat. It's very simple. So the first word we see here is called bars. So this determines how many LEDs come on on the SCAMP3 board. So if I type 8 bars, I'll get 8 LEDs. So here's our main uh, word. It's called pressure question mark. So the first thing we do, we assign pin 2 as the ADC input on channel 2 on the PIC microcontroller. Then we go into a begin until loop. Now this is a continuous loop until I hit any key on the keyboard which will come out of this loop. So we do a sample of the ADC and my range is from 2700 to 1700. Now 2700 will give 0 bars or 0 LEDs and 1700 will give 16 LEDs. So any value lower than 1700 will get 16 LEDs and any value higher than 2700 will get zero LEDs. And so this determines how many LEDs and it calculates it and puts it in and gives it uh, the, to the bars so they will display how many bars and then we can hit any key on the keyboard to come out of this loop. So that's the main uh, code there. It's called pressure question mark. So we run that and we can have our little pressure sensor. Okay so that was my little tutorial on how to build a simple pressure sensor using Velostat. And you can come up with your own ideas on what you could do for your projects. Now back in the early days when I was working with bands, we actually put some Velostat inside the shoe. So we cut out the Velostat the same size as the inside of a shoe. And we had it hooked up to the drum controller. So when you tap on the front of the shoe, we would get the snare drum. If you tap on the heel of the shoe, we would get the uh, kick drum. So it was uh, worked out pretty well. So you could come up with your own ideas how you could use this pressure sensor in your project.